By now you've probably heard of Carnival Sunrise, basically Carnival Triumph with a new name. And with that new name comes a lot of new enhancements, but first, let's rewind. At 101,000 tons, Carnival Triumph was launched in 1999 as a Destiny-class ship. She is 893 feet long, carries 3,100 guests, broke down in 2013, got Funship 2.0 at the same time, and is now going through a nearly $200 million 60-day dry dock to become Carnival Sunrise. So, what happens next? In early 2019, the ship will leave New Orleans and head for a dry dock in Spain, and it's there she'll dock as Carnival Triumph one last time. With nearly $200 million and only 60 days to do it, there's a lot of work to be done. Some of the new additions will be new staterooms, including those suites with floor-to-ceiling windows, an ocean plaza-like concept, a guy's pig and anchor smokehouse, Cucina del Capitano, Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, Bonsai Sushi Express, a Red Frog Pub, Piano Bar 88, Java Cafe, Limelight Lounge, a revamped Liquid Lounge, and outside areas including Sports Square with a ropes course, Waterworks, a revamped Serenity area, and an expanded spa and shopping area. After an extensive dry dock and a new name, the brand new Carnival Sunrise will leave the shipyard and head back to the States to start cruising the Caribbean and Bermuda. To learn more about Carnival Sunrise, check out cruiseradio.net slash sunrise.